Welcome in everyone to the Gamer Professor. Uh, today we need to talk about latest issue with Call of Duty. Uh, it's a problem too. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Now this all stemmed, and this is kind of, we could look at it as a public service announcement for everybody. This all stemmed from an article on IGN that I read. And you'll see it here. Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War is on sale for $10 off. Guns up. Already, like, it just made me go, really, Chris? You're going to use some, like, guns up, bro. Killer, killer job, man. Love the article. Like, it was just weird. I'm like, guns up. And then all of a sudden I went, wait a minute. And I, and I go through, any time this happens, there is a sphere that I build based off of about, I'd say, five things that I go, this is a problem. And the big one was right here. Now, let's read this. A lot, have been, a lot has been said about the $70 price point for PS5 and Xbox Series X games. Whether you're fine with next-gen games costing more or not, it's safe to say no one is super jazzed about a price increase. Right now at Walmart, you can save $10 off all versions of Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, including the PS5 and Xbox X versions. Wow. Amazon is matching the price, but only has a Series X version in stock. Not a bad deal, considering it should be one of the biggest games of the year, and it came out less than a month ago. Wow. Isn't that amazing? And right there I said, oh boy, you're not going to pull the wool over the old uh, communication professor's eyes here. This is a perfect what we call in the business pivot. Did you see it? Look at it. A lot has been said about the $70 price point for the PS5. He's trying to argue right now that this is about the price point. That the reason they're taking money off is because the, the price point is, is, is a problematic. And, and look what he says right there. No one is super jazzed about the price increase. Now, there's a little bit of reality to that. Absolutely. I don't like the $70 price point. Is that the major vast majority of what the issue is here? Absolutely not. And therein lies the problem. Look at what he says at the end there. Not a bad deal too, right? He's, he's pitching it. It's not a bad deal. I mean, considering it sure to be one of the biggest games of the year and it came out less than a month ago. And that was the key right there. Less than a month ago. There are very few Call of Duty titles. And, and then we're going to expand beyond here. But just Call of Duty titles that come out and within a month there has been a price decrease. Modern Warfare never did this. There's a reason why that many of them have not. So first off, within a month, there's already a price decrease. Now, all of a sudden, I'm going to go through my list here of things where I go, hmm. So first off is the price decrease, where I go, suspicious. Secondly, is I go, okay, what are other places doing? Is anyone giving you a reason to buy, i.e., extra stuff? Is there is there a free sort of thing if you get or anything like that, right? Like I'm like, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, there actually is, according to GameStop. Purchase and get three bonus in-game items. So now only do you have the price decrease, right? Now you have, hey, we've got, uh, if you buy it, you'll get some extra stuff. Okay. Third one, hey, if you get it, guess what? We've got in-game elements going on here. Like y there's a big drop coming up that's completely free, right? And if you get it, it's free. Um, and you don't even have to buy this DLC. And then... The dovetail off that, number four, who's making this game? Let me give you one example of this, Activision Blizzard. But think about another title. Any of you remember a game called Anthem by EA? Anthem had this same thing. It had this, we're going we're gonna to give you a discount and we're not going to, uh, you know, we're going to take uh, money off the game so it doesn't cost as much. And also we're going to give you some free in-game stuff here. And here was the key. And this is element number four. Think about this. Do you think EA likes to get money? You think they're a big corporation that likes to earn a profit? Yeah, I don't know, EA. Yeah, they're, they're, they're for the small guy. They'll never charge. Nah, they don't do that. How about, uh, how about Blizzard Activision? You think they like their money? These are very big corporations, very big companies. Oh, you can bet your bottom dollar. No pun intended. Maybe pun intended. I don't know. You can bet your bottom dollar here. They want that money. There's a real big reason why they are not charging you. There's a big reason why. There's a big reason why they are taking off that money. 
That is because they are realizing it's problematic. They've, there's an issue here. How do we find out the issue? Now, I want to be clear, and this is point number five here. I've, I've owned Call of Duty Black Ops, uh, Cold War for the Series X. I sold it. Now, I sold it for a couple of reasons. And these were more personalized reasons. You know, I hate the idea of non-resetting score streaks, even score streaks in like Black Ops, Call of Duty, uh, you know, or sorry, Call of Duty Black Ops 4, right? Like if you got killed, it would reset. I mean, th that's one thing. But the fact of that they never reset and that you can die and still get kill streaks. It's like Oprah with you get a kill streak, you get a kill streak, you get a kill streak, and everyone gets kill streaks. And then all of a sudden you've got five bazillion kill streaks. That was what I was dying to, I'd say nine times out of ten which is killstreaks. They're just everywhere. There's always a, a spy plane or a sentry. Or there's just, it's ridiculous. Now, here's the thing. Where can we find out? Now, yeah, th these are problems. One, we can look at reviews, and I've heard some things, but this is where I think you can really go and where I, this is the first thing I do, is I go to the comment section. I look at comments about this game. Now, I'm pulling from many places. I mean, Perfect example, and you'll see the screenshot here. This is from uh, GameNewsPlus.net, where it literally says, Weapon XP earn rate increased with the latest patch uh, for Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Guns level up faster with new patch for Black Ops Cold War. Game News Plus, right? And the, friend, <laughs> the only comment, and this has been up for like four days now. The only comment, Anthony Stevens, this article has been up for 18 hours and has six likes. I don't think anyone gives a shit about this game. And he's absolutely right. When the comment section has a majority as to what they believe in and why they don't like something, you can really easily tell like something's not right here, right? Think about Amazon. I'm buying brakes for my car right now. If I buy breaks. I want to make sure they're good, of course. So, hey, I look at the rating system. I'm going to buy these Bosch breaks because out of 16,000 reviews, they have a four and a half star rating. That's pretty good. Hmm. There are these other breaks I saw. Uh, out of 200 reviews, they had a two star rating, rating, right? Out of those 200 reviews. That should tell me something. If you look even in this, in this article itself from IGN, what do the comments say? Look at the screenshot should be half off because it only works half the time. That's what I was going to say. Q for download bug and crashing when trying to connect to the server or BS. I, only game I on PS5 I have problems with. Again, now see, I don't have a PS5. I never had a crash bug with, with downloading. So again, that's not why I got rid of it. I just, there were other things I didn't like about it. And I don't even have a PS5. But this person, I have to boot it up without internet in order to get past startup error atrocious. And this guy, same with my Series X. So they can't claim this is a console problem. I have to turn off crossplay to make it past two rounds and then it crashes. See, again, I didn't deal with that because I think I turned off crossplay in the first place because I hate crossplay. Um, so the, the, the vast majority, I'd say 98% of any of these comments on any of these articles all say the same thing. This is just a bad game. I don't like this game. Too many problems. And now we're starting to see it. And again, the first tip was that there's a discount. As soon as I see a game that new getting a discount, it should raise alarms. It's almost the exact opposite of the it's too good to be true sort of idea, right? Like that, wow, I'm getting this great deal for this amazing product that usually costs so much. There's a reason why. I'm not going to lie. I love on, you know, like Craigslist or whatever, Facebook marketplace looking at like expensive cars. And then all of a sudden you'll see like, you know, a Range Rover. It's only 10 years old for only $5,000. Well, wow, that seems like a deal. There's probably a reason why, right? <laughs> there's a reason. This seems like a deal. Uh, there's probably a reason why. And the reason is because it's not good. There's too many problems with this. So I just found that interesting. Again, I just wanted to use this as a PSA, you know, public service announcement here to, to say, hey, if you see a deep, uh, you know, a discount with a game that's not been out very long, if you see the comment sections and articles about the game saying this is a problem, if you see even reviewers that usually will be like, yeah, you know, this is a great game, being more like, eh, this is kind of lacking in some aspects here, zombies, stuff like that. If you see these things, it should really give you concern. And especially as I know, you know, as a communication professor who teaches business communication, let me tell you, business comm, this is one thing. Companies, especially big corporations, they're out for the bottom dollar. They're out to, to keep their shareholders happy and they are there to make money. And if this is the best way to make money, 
that's how they're going to do it. Thanks so much for tuning into The Gamer Professor. Really appreciate the view. You have a great rest of your day. Take care. Thank you so much for watching The Gamer Professor. Please subscribe to the channel. Feel free to leave me a comment below. Anytime you want to talk to me, feel free to catch me on all my other social media platforms, Twitch, Twitter, Facebook. Remember, all one word, The Gamer Professor. Thanks so much for the view. Take care.